forgotten or need to change your wireless name or password, we'll show you how to do this on your Spark HG630 modem. If you haven't changed your Wi-Fi settings on the modem before, you can easily find out what your default wireless name and password is by looking at the sticker on the back of the modem. With this modem, we can see that the SSID is the default Wi-Fi name and the WLAN key is the default Wi-Fi password. If you can't connect to your Wi-Fi using this information but would like this to be your wireless name and password, then you can perform a factory reset on the modem to restore these default Wi-Fi settings. Now let's show you how you can check or change the Wi-Fi name and password on your modem. We recommend connecting the supplied yellow Ethernet cable to your device and modem before following these steps. Open your preferred web browser, such as Internet Explorer, Edge, Firefox, Safari or Google Chrome. Click on the address bar and delete any text. Type in 192.168.1.254 and then press enter on your keyboard. This will allow you to access the modem interface. You will now see a login box. To log in to the modem, enter the username and password. The default username is admin and the default password is admin. If you've changed your modem's username or password, you'll be required to enter these credentials before you can access the modem interface. If you can't remember this login information, then you can do a factory reset on your modem to restore these default settings. Click on the skip button to proceed. If a pop-up box appears on the screen, click OK. Welcome to the modem interface. Click basic on the left hand side of the screen. Then click on Wi-Fi below this. You can find what your current Wi-Fi name is by looking at the SSID field. If you wish to change this to something easier for you to remember, then click on the SSID field and delete what's currently in the box. Then type in your new wireless name. You can find what your current Wi-Fi password is by looking at the WPA pre-shared key field. If you wish to change this to something easier for you to remember, then click on the WPA pre-shared key field, delete what's currently in the box, then type in your new wireless password. For security reasons, this needs to be at least 8 alphanumeric characters. If you've made any changes to the Wi-Fi name or password, then click on the submit button to save these changes and wait for about a minute or two for the modem to reboot. And we're done. If you've changed your name or password, you'll need to reconnect all your wireless devices to your new Wi-Fi.